What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial on how to record audio and sound into Logic Pro. Recently I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of requests to do this video so uh, I'm doing it right now. First step you got to know, you got to make sure that your sound is going through your mixer interface and that you can hear yourself. That is the main key. Right now we know mine is working because well, we hear my voice so once you hear some sound that's a good sign. We'll move on to step two. Step two, you hit this little plus sign up here in Logic, it allows you to create a new track. In this case, I want to record live sound, live audio, so I'm going to hit the audio over here. Now, for my format, input and output. My output, I always basically leave output one and two because that's what my interface has. It has two outputs. My input is going to be input one and format will be mono. Now, with Logic, if you have, let's say you want to do a stereo recording and you switch to stereo, it will automatically go to input one, two, which means channel one is uh, channel left, channel two is channel right. So that's a stereo sound, but in this case, I only have one microphone going into channel one of my interface, going out into logic. So what that means is a mono signal, so I'm going to record a mono sound. The mic is going into channel one of my interface, and I'm going to bring it to channel one in logic. So I'm telling logic that I get the sound from input one on my interface, which is a mono signal, and I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now, once you got that set up, what you want to notice here is there's a record arm and there's an I, or sorry, an R and an I. The R is record arm and I is means for input. Now, record arm means if you have multiple tracks and you have the record arm set on it, when you go ahead and hit record, Logic will record all the sound that is set to record on those tracks when you hit record. If you just hit record on a track, on one single track, Without hitting the record arm, it will record that single track that you have clicked on. Now let me demonstrate that. Also before I actually do some demonstrations, the I over here means input. So what that allows you to do is see the audio coming into Logic. Right now you don't see it because I don't have record arm or input on. If I go ahead and hit input, you will see some sound coming into Logic. Or if I go ahead and hit record, you will also see some sound going into Logic. Let's do a quick recording now. I'm going to go ahead and hit R on my keyboard to hit record. to uh, Tell Logic to record. Hello, my name is Adam. All right, so that is a quick recording right there saying, hello, my name is Adam, obviously. Now, the thing you got to remember here is that this volume over here was set by my interface, not by Logic's fader over here. So if I were to do a recording, let's say with the fader all the way down, I will still get this waveform, this type of waveform, this type of volume when it's recorded as this does not matter in your recording. What matters is the volume that your gain is at on your interface or your mixer. So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that track. And before we record it at unity gain, this time I'm going to record another sound, but at zero. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit record on my keyboard. Hello, my name is Adam. All right, if you can tell, notice here that the waveforms were identical for the most part. I mean, my voice may have changed a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same. And if you noticed, this I recorded on zero, and this one I recorded on unity gain. I'm just going to bring it up. By the way, quick tip if you hit option click on the fader, it will go to unity gain. So, what that tells you is that it doesn't matter what volume this is at when you record. All that matters is to have a proper volume setting on your gain when you when you pre-record, which means your gain is on your interface or on your mixer or preamp, whichever one you whichever way you want to call it. That's what matters for the levels as far as levels go. Now, that's pretty much it to record sounds. Very simple. So again, you create a new track. Type you want to record live sound, so it's going to go to audio. Your format will be mono or stereo, you decide, or if you guys have a fancy setup, surround. But for the most part, if you're just doing voices or you're doing a single mic guitar recording or a single snare hit with one mic, for the most part, you're going to be hitting mono. If you only have one, one uh, microphone pl or instrument plugged into one channel on your interface or mixer, that means it is a mono signal, so you're going to want to go ahead with mono. So I'm going to hit mono input one for because that is where my mic is on so on channel one of my interface so i'm going to tell logic hey get the sound from my 
interface from channel one and bring it into logic that's what i'm telling logic to do and i will take uh, output one two so when i play it back i will hear the sound on my speakers and headphones so i'm gonna go ahead and create again if you don't see levels of in here before you record don't worry all that means is that your record arm isn't on or if you want to take a listen without hitting the record arm you can hit input and you'll see levels there and remember that this does not matter with the levels in logic it does not matter when you record all that matters is to make sure that you have proper sound proper settings on your gain or preamp on your interface and the levels will come in nicely and clean ready for you to edit all right guys if you have any questions on this or if i went too fast ask me a question in the comments do a video response doesn't matter to me i'll try and answer as best i can remember to subscribe more videos coming soon and i probably will go with a more in-depth tutorial on how to record audio later guys take care bye bye Class is now out of session.